The next section is surface and groundwater protection. There are several rules. Uh, the state of Wisconsin uh, is very protected about its groundwater and its state's waters. This is no, no surprise. Uh, water quality is a very important issue within the state of Wisconsin and really it's a very important issue within the United States and it is actually everywhere. Um, in the state of Wisconsin, the DNR has set and, and DATCAP have set numeric values for certain substances. So there's tolerance limits. And this numeric value is considered an enforcement limit. What does this mean? If when doing water sampling, either the DNR or DATCAP find um, amounts of the pesticide over this enforcement limit, then action is taken. There is another trigger. There is a, pre uh, a prevention action limit. This is a percent of the enforcement limit that requires the landowner to take action. So if they find that this certain trigger, this percent of the enforcement limit is reached, then they'll be approached to, um, to take action to limit the amount of pollutant that enters the water. So again, for groundwater protection, there is a number that is decided for each pesticide and that is called the enforcement limit and below that is the prevention limit which is a percentage of the enforcement limit number that uh, where action has to be taken uh, taken if that pesticide is detected in that water. As I mentioned earlier in the previous sections there is a, a atrazine rule and as I mentioned in record keeping, you have to keep atrazine records for three years. Um, it's, a, it's unusual because you have to keep other records for two. But in this rule, it has set certain restrictions to atrazine in the state of Wisconsin. Um, one of those is atrazine can only be used for agricultural, agricultural crops in Wisconsin. Um, any other use uh, has been revoked so you cannot use atrazine for anything else except for agricultural crops. In the state of Wisconsin you cannot not apply atrazine unless it is in the window time frame or window of April 15th to July 31st. If you were caught applying atrazine before then or after that date then um, you could get fined. We cannot use atrazine in chemigation in the state of Wisconsin. That is uh, something else that has been added to the atrazine rule. Uh, there are maximum use rates, uh, 0.75 to 0.15 or 3 quarters to 1.5 pounds per acre statewide. Um, this is um, a maximum use rate. You cannot go above that. And this is based on certain soil qualities, so depending on which one you can use. There is a rescue emergency treatment that you can use of one and a half to two pounds. Uh, this is uh, for seed corn and sweet corn only, so if you're producing field corn you cannot use this rescue treatment. There are also, as you probably well know, atrazine management or prohibition areas where you cannot use atrazine at all in the state of Wisconsin. Those are something that's uh, added. Those tend to be areas where the soils are very uh, coarse or sand-based soils where atrazine can move into the groundwater easily. There are certain rules on mixing pads. If you apply more than 1,500 pounds of AI in, uh, in a location, you must have a mixing pad built to certain specs provided by the DNR. Um, this has to be built and you must mix on these mixing pads. However, as we get close to surface water or a well, certain rules kick in. Um, within eight feet of a well or surface water, you are not allowed to mix or load any pesticides. So if you were caught doing this within eight feet of a well or uh, mixing or uh, surface water, you could get fined. Within a hundred feet, you must have a mixing pad. So um, 
If you are within 100 feet of surface water or a well, you must have a mixing pad built to specs as dictated by the DNR. So keep that in mind. Eight feet, no mixing loading. Within 100 feet, you need a mixing pad. Or if you have mixed more than 1,500 pounds of AI per calendar season or growing season, then you must also have a mixing pad.